<laughs> let me just off my audio for now so that let me do business for now today i just want to show you how to design a health work flyer for any business or any company yes so i just want us to go through it and let me show you how to do that yes okay so what we need to do is to just go straight to our photoshop and let's get it done like this okay yes so first of all we have to create our documents file new and in this case i just want to use photoshop default size which is seven by five inches and then i'll call it health banner okay no health health walk flyer it's just a flyer that I have to do. Okay, so um, sorry. So I'll come to image, then I'll go to image rotation, then I'll come to 90 clockwise. I want it to be in portrait so that I can work uh, how I want it to be like this. Okay, so the first thing I have to do is to create a new document, and I'll call a, a new uh, layer over there, and I'll call it background, and that will be a group. A grouped layer okay so I'll just go import in the picture that I downloaded for that particular distance over here like this okay then I'll move it on top here then what I have to do is to just transform it like this very small okay then I'll have it like this okay yes so I should move it in to the background so the next thing that I have to do again is to give out the shape how I want the shape to be. Okay, so I'll come and pick up a rectangular marking tool over here. Then I'll just come and draw something over here like this, just like this. Okay, so the next thing I have to do is to change it to black, and I want this particular black over here. It's okay for me, yes, like this. So the next thing I have to do is to press Ctrl T to do the transformation. Then I'll right click. Then I'll go to work. And then over here I'll move it down like this. And then over here I'll let it go top like that. Okay. Then I'll click OK. Just like this. Then the next thing I have to do is to duplicate this one. So I'll right click here and then come to duplicate layer like this. And then this one, I'll change it by going to FX. Then I'll come to gradient overlay. Then I'll leave it this one like that. Okay. Then the next thing I have to do is to come and duplicate the down one over here like this. Then I'll move that one to top. And then I'll change the color to this color over here like this. Okay. Then the next thing I have to do is that I have to move this one down just like this and then I'll come over here then I'll move the black out just like this okay together so the next thing I have to do is to hold the black this one the black the first layer then I'll hold somewhere here I'll just come and hold the edge here then I'll move it like this okay just like this okay and that's all yes and the next thing i have to do is that i've just created something like that and the next thing i have to do is that i have to start writing up those things over there you get that so i will group the shapes over here then i'll call it shape okay then i'll just come and pick up the information over here i'll pick up health work then i'll paste it in like this and it should go out and that one will call text okay should call text always group your work so that it will be beautiful for you you will have many too many distance on there so i'll come and change 
the, the, the this thing over there then I'll transform it over here then the next thing I have to do is to change the font here and I'll come and click font then I'll use this particular font health green like this and then I'll transform it up transform it like this okay then the next thing I have to do is to come and pick a walk over there then I'll come and paste it just like this and then the next thing I have to do is to change the font again to okay let me see which font will I use okay I'll use uh billions dreams then I'll reduce it I'll reduce it and I'll come and place it somewhere here okay then I'll change the font color to this just change the text color to this like this okay yes so the next thing i have to do is that you see that i've just worked or and there's, there won't be anything i have to put here so in this case i just have to move my shape top like this i just move it top okay and then this one i'll just move it like that okay so that this one can go top like that okay so i'll just save my work like that okay so the next thing i have to do is to bring some kind of this thing over here some shape then i'll change the color to this okay so i'll have something like this and then the next thing i have to do is to come and copy it come and copy this one over there then I'll come and put it here and then changing the font to poppins so that people can read what is really what I'm doing so that I'll change the color to white then I'll just move it over here then the next thing I have to do is that I just want the initial caps okay just have it like this and like that okay so I'll have it like this okay so the next thing I have to do is to come and copy it, this one over here then I'll come and paste it over here and then I'll change the color to black very pure black then I'll have something like this okay then I'll let it be somewhere here then I'll change the regular to bold and then let's come and do something to this one you see the second is, be, is being in line with this but it's supposed to be on top so you just have to select only the ND and you come to your characters you see this on top you just click on it so that you go top that's all so you have something like that over there like this okay so the next thing i have to do is to come and pick the a uh, time and time so all this text should be in the text group layer like this you see that so right now i just have only two so the next thing i have to do is to put the date so i'll come up somewhere like this and i'll change the distance to this and i'll make a stroke of this and the stroke should be 20 okay and then i'll just paste the time in like that so the time should be like this okay so the next thing i have to do is to move it in move it in like this let me zoom it out so that you understand what I'm doing. So you have it like this. You change it to all capitals, then you let it go in uh, like this. Okay, time six o'clock a.m. Fine. So the next thing I have to do is to come up the pictures. So 
I'll pick then I'll hold shift to draw a shape like this okay and then I'll change the color to this so that you'll see what really I'm doing so over here I'll just change it to 60 like this okay 60 like this and then I'll come and import in the pictures I've just downloaded like this then I'll clip it in and then I'll just transform it transforming it like this so that the people over there can show up very well like this okay then I'll come and select this one then I'll add a stroke to it let me have the stroke right and then I'll make it 10 it's okay you get that so the next thing I have to do is to group that one and I'll call it one and I'll duplicate it and I'll let the one go here then I'll make this one will be two should be here so I'll just rename it and then I'll delete this one away then I'll come and import in this picture over there then I'll just transform that one to to have it like this okay yes so the next thing that I have to do is to just transform it like this and then I'll duplicate that one by pressing ctrl G then I'll move that one down here and that one should be somewhere here okay then I'll just select it and delete it then I'll import in another picture which is this one over here okay then I'll just clip it in then I'll transform that one to just like this okay so in this I'll just get in a distance like that then I'll have it like this yes so just have to make it like this and then I'll have it like this so over here should be the company their logo and their everything you can place it on top there just like that over here okay then I'll make it white no white will not come up over there you see so some people have problems with this so when you check that when you place something on this it cannot come out what you need to do is to introduce some color shape over there so that what you want there can appear very well for you you get that yes so when you introduce something like this it will appear very very well for you you get that yes so making it beautiful you can make it go in like this then you have something like this over there and then even when it's not appear very well you can decide to change the color so that it can appear very very well for you yes so in this case we have just come to the end of how to design a health work flyer for your client thank you very much for watching this is ABM graphics have a nice day bye bye